Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to farm between 1,000 and 1,200 obols an hour. Um, and this can be done anywhere. And I'm going to show you how to lay it out yourself. Um, that way if you start hitting these areas up and you can see that there's other people running through them, you can move to a new area and still have your own pre-planned and plotted route where you can be as efficient with your time as possible. Lord knows, not everybody has 10, 12 hours a day to be sitting and playing video games. So when you've got a couple hours, you've got to make use of that. Sometimes you just sit and chill and have some fun. Sometimes you really got that objective that you're trying to get completed. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to plan and plot that out. Um, if you have two monitors, all the better. If you only have the one monitor, that works too um unfortunately console guys you're gonna have to have a computer or your phone to work this off of but it will work anywhere um what i'm going to show you can be done using a browser on your phone it can be done on your second monitor and it can be done through an overlay in game now i've already briefly talked about this overlay but we're going to go a lot more in depth and i'm going to show you all how to plot and plan your route or just maximum oval game because who doesn't want to see Kadala more right so first thing first below this video you can find a link that's going to bring you directly to this uh, web browser page basically um, we'll go over the overlay um, a little bit later but for now those of you that might have access to a second monitor or um, even your even your phone right it's gonna work the same so what I have done is I have myself two or three different routes um, when I first start farming where is it here okay well actually stop over here on the side what we're gonna want to turn on is gonna be sellers waypoints and events now the waypoints are there to help you when you're in game to cross reference the things. The events are going to show you where you need to be going and the sellers are there as part of the events as well, right? So when you're farming the obols, we're going to want to hit up all the events and all the sellers along the way because the sellers have a chance to to drop an obol chest that's going to give you anywhere from 30 to 60 obols and then also a small chance to drop the uh the little cache of obols that you can open up so we're gonna want to make sure that we can you know we stop and hit all the sellers along the way I do have my own little route that I've kind of been following um, when I when I first start to farm okay now I've done this farm I've done this exact farm a few times now and each time I have done this farm within 30 minutes I've picked up roughly 600 obols and I've gone back to town twice to sell a full inventory of yellow gear or break it down or you know whatever you're wanting to do so in 30 minutes you're gonna pick up 600 obols and you're gonna be picking up a lot of gold as well right so the gold that you pick up off the ground and the gold that you get from selling and since we know you know <laughs> re-rolling items gets quite expensive um, I just re-rolled the two-handed sword. I'd spent 100 million gold on it and still couldn't get what I wanted. Um, and that was a rare. Like, I didn't put the legendary affix on it yet. So gold and farming gold is really important as well. Um, when I first start, I think everybody knows about the event that's right outside of Ministad. Um, you know, port to Ministad and then just run right outside and that event seems to be there quite frequently. Um, and then you can just hop right across the street and check out the cellar there. Um, after that, you can choose to kind of keep farming if you want. There's a lot of events that are in close proximity here. And remember, not all of these events are going to be up at all times, right? But this is the locations the events spawn. So I have been starting at Ministad. And then just over here, I'll teleport down to Yelezna. And I will go down this way. This is a cellar right here. Um, let's enlarge the icons a little bit. Let me turn the event off so we can see that's a cellar. I'll teleport down to the Elezna. And then I'll hop down to the cellar down here. And then I'll run over 
I'll take this cellar. This will sometimes be there. Um, I I don't really know what this one is. I don't know if it's inside the dungeon or what. I've never seen this one. Um, but I see this one and this one a lot. Right? Uh, from there, once I complete either this one or this one, I'll teleport back over. I'll run up over. Right? This one's there. Seems pretty regularly. Either way, you know, run up and then I'll over. Now I'll follow the path down. Right? And then you go up. This is a cellar right here. Over here. To this cellar and then around. Um, from here, <laughs> I have been lazy and teleported to here to run over because. I don't know. I mean, you can call it efficiency, you can call it laziness either way. And then I've run up. Um, and I will, from there, teleport back to Ministad and start over. Um, there's also another farm that I have come to really like as well. Um, and that is Zerbinze. Zer Zer I don't know. Say it however you want. But I actually really like this one. Um, so from Zarbanze, you can come down, head south, come over to the first one, back over down to the cellar, and then just follow the path around. Um, and then you can port back up and head and follow the other way. Now keep in mind, you know, there are other people that are going to be out farming these. Um, the events may not be there. You may have to actually just log out of the game, log back in, and get yourself onto a new server. Or something different um, there's there have been times where I've not seen a single event it's like okay well let's reset this log out of the game log back in um, and boom there they are so I don't really know maybe it's just timing maybe the servers really do work that way I I don't know I don't I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a genius when it comes to that but there are quite a lot of others um, as you can see you know if you port down here to gay cool I don't, I don't know. You can follow the path around and check the events. Um, they're everywhere. And this is what I mean by, you know, this map is the tool you need um, to just follow through. And you can come down, check these events, and then, I, I don't know. Um, I can say that I have farmed a lot of these different areas um, and they're all just as efficient. I've just so happened to pretty much remember the Yelesna one. Um, so that's just team seems to be uh, or tends to be where I go more often. Um, but this one right here is a pretty good one too. Brace staying comes down. There's a lot there. Um, what was the other one? It's down south. Yeah, that's down south. Okay, so if you're res, you can come down here. You can follow the path through all the way around and back up. Um, and you're going to get a lot of events that way there too. When you're doing this yourself, just, just look through this map. Look for an area that has the waypoint and then a lot of events close by. Or, you know, cellars close by. Um, there's a lot of cellars over in here. Um, and, and this is how you're going to get your, your high farm rate. Okay, so those of you that don't have two monitors, what you can do is download and install Overwolf. It's used for a lot of different games. It is a third-party app, but it is safe and it is approved by the Blizzard developers. Right? What we're about to do is approved. There's no harm, no foul. Um, go ahead and open up the Diablo. Click on the Diablo section. And then we're going to launch Diablo 4 map. Now I've already got it launched. I've already got everything set up. Um, but again, let me reiterate. This is approved by the Blizzard development team. Okay. So there's no risk of getting your account banned. There's no risk of getting in any trouble. You are A-OK -okay to use this. Once we get this loaded, we're going to do the same thing we did in the browser. Come over here, check our sellers, check our waypoints, check our events tab. 
um, and it's gonna show it's gonna be the same same exact thing right except this time we now have an overlay all right so to pull this up and to close it we hit f6 f6 is gonna open this f6 is gonna close this it's just that responsive um, if you're wanting to have this up while you're running around you can in fact turn on the transparent mode um, zoom in on the map right so we're gonna zoom in there if we want to so hover over the icon and we can zoom in um, it's not gonna work if you're not on top of an icon because you're able to click through the map um, can zoom back out there is a lock button that's gonna be lock and unlock. All right, so F9 is gonna lock and unlock. Um, <laughs> I just clicked it. All I did was unbind it. So F9 is gonna let us lock and unlock. We're not gonna be able to scroll in with it, right? Um, but we can still F6 to turn it on and off. And now we have our overlay. We're also gonna be able to see the path that we have been running. All the wrong buttons. Here I am wanting to press Z. So we're gonna be able to see the path that we're taking need to you know hit ta uh, hit tab pull up your map and we can continue to follow this right down to wherever it is we're wanting to go now I get that it might be a little bit more difficult to cross-reference some of this but at the same time you know one screen we're running directly towards it right um, so we just kind of follow the path wherever it is you're wanting to go just like the other one layout your your events um and then that's the path that you can take uh let's see so let's unlock this well let's not die first now back in town we're gonna turn the transparent back off um you do keep in mind you can change the opacity as well there's you know there's two different settings transparent you click on and off um toggle the, the opacity there for it if you whatever you want to do friends um, but this is another option this is your your in-game one it is user-friendly it is easy to use don't forget this also will show your your hell tide locations and stuff as well oh, right there so you just click it and check it and same with the other one both of these they're the exact same thing one's just available in game one's available in your your web browser um, and then you can also get this open on your phone so now when you're listening to folks talk about how they can make, you know, a thousand, twelve hundred ovals an hour, now you can set up your own route, your own plan, your own path, um, and you're not competing with everybody else who just heard the latest path, right? So if you log in and that path has been inundated with other individuals who are running it right just say you know let's look around where's another where's another tight spot let's check this one let's come follow down and run this back up teleport over and then you know what i mean so these are decisions you can make for yourself now informed ones really that's it i don't want to keep taking your time um go farm and have fun <laughs> See y'all on the next one. Take care.